this album um, is called I'm Ready. It was released in um, 1998. And that's an album that um, when I released it, uh, I really thought that, um, like, I really wanted to do, uh, to have a hip hop career at that time, you know. Uh, I really didn't have a clue that uh, Zouk and Kizomba would be uh, the future for me, uh, among other things. And uh, when I did it, I really did it as a side project. And I was getting ready to do a rap, proper rap album. And then we took those 11 tracks and we, we released them. And this album sold over 100,000 CDs back then. So it's crazy. And uh, this is one, the album that revolutionized Zouk and revolutionize Kizomba before the times. Some of the beats that I did in this album, you can play them today, side by side, some new beats, and they hit as hard. So uh, join me and let's listen to the intro. So you have to understand something about my intros. All my intros are not intros of just the album. My intros explain to you what you're about to hear. And that's what I'm saying in this intro. What you are, what you are about. Yeah. Make you understand. Go do it. What are we gonna do here? Is make you understand the foundation. The foundations. For all new galaxies. What we're gonna do here is make you understand the foundations for a whole new galaxy. 1998. That's before the explosion of Kizomba, before Zukar and B, before all that shit. I'm here. Me, my crew, Jean-Michel Autin, Nichols, Ali Angel. We are here and you can bring your crew because everybody's invited. And what we're going to do, we're building something. We, are, we know we are pioneers. And that's what I was saying in that intro. It was get ready because I'm ready. The first track was produced by me. And on the chorus, I have Jean-Michel Autant. Fuck. I'm a 
about you cause I'm wild Blue sex crocodile And lick the phone as if you're here Lick the phone as if you're here you have no fear ah, ah, ah. If you want the true John Blaze I got the fingers in please hey. Forget the things your mama told ya Safe sex, that's the best flex Alexandra Juniel C'est là que tu pouvais serrer. Day if we did interludes too. Allo. Uh, allo. Ouais, c'est ok, qui est chat. Ouais, c'est moi. Bon, c'est qui m'a pas les bars. En vrai, il y a après une musique à faire la bonne. Il a la live en petit format. Ouais, c'est possible. Ouais, ça trouve que forme là, ça, c'est madame. Ouais, ben. Et alors? Tu fais mal et tout, c'est même trop toi qui m'en fous. Ou non, maman, on fout tellement coup. Que tu sais, que tu avais tout petit bon ami, oh là là, d'ailleurs, tout le monde qui prend. Quoi t'en sens qu'à dire là là Quoi t'en sens qu'à dire là là Tu sais qui est cher, quoi t'en sens qu'à dire là là C'est un beau rêve, un rêve, une chier, mais ouais. Sorti là, sorti là, rêve, une femme, une chier ici, dans là. Hein Mais pas les bas, moi, pas tel faux là, oui, qui est cher. Bah les affaires belles, t'y bourre encore ici là Je crois qu'il faut faire les paroles Mais pas que ça va les bains, mais on l'a eu On l'a eu C'était Alexandra Juniel sur 
Non, pas dans le pays, sur, sur téléphone. Ouais, si, si. Hamas Bon. C'est ça, tu connais les vraies choses, le galion. Oh, 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 oh. Quelle lourdeur, quelle lourdeur, quelle lourdeur, quelle lourdeur, quelle lourdeur. Mon intro préféré de tous les temps. Hmm. Je note. Je me rappelle, j'étais minou, mon grand cousin me mettait les sons quand il ramenait des go pour faire des trucs pas qu'à tout. <rire> Faut que t'invites t'invite Casey sur un de tes projets. Waouh. Waouh. Très bonne idée. Alors l'histoire de Bounce Baby, c'est que euh, c'est un son que j'avais fait pour l'album Preview en 1996 avec Jean-Michel Rotin et les Organize et euh, le reste du crew. Et quand je leur avais fait écouter l'instru, tout le monde avait peur parce que c'était un sample de Kassav. Et... Uh, why, am I speaking, why am I speaking French? Sorry. The, when I did that track, everybody was scared to use a sample from, uh, from Kassav. And I was like, fuck it. Let's go. It's hip hop. Worldwide Chico coming to your Caribbean city, yo, any pueblo. Myself plus every the other, other MC you know from a crew. Heat you with the crazy menu. Please you with the fat beats. Cute hair with lotion. I got no magic potion, just emotion. Music I create, that's a patient. Make a lot of dough and smile, that's my mission. Delicious mm. specialist, not the van down. You wanna play the van down? The Niggas wanna ambush me. Cause, Cause bush I bush too much, that's why I stay in the bush. Check out the sound I hit like bamboo. Woo! Check out the beast that changed the head. The original sex crocodile. The original sexy in your way. You better bounce, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'll make you dance, baby. Uh huh, uh huh. You better bounce, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'll make you dance, baby. I'll make you dance, baby. You better bounce, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'll make you dance, baby. Uh huh, uh huh. So that track is a track that changed everything and uh, it's so funny but that people say it's a Zook track because to me it's a hip hop track. If you listen to the beat and you listen to the way I rap, this has nothing to do with Zook but then it became the number one Zook song at that time. But listen to the beat. This is a rap, it's a rap track. The only difference is that instead of using um, instead of using um, a James Brown sample like everybody, I use the Kassav sample because I grew up in, in in between my first years. I grew up in Kinshasa, Congo, and my my, my parents were always listening to Kassav, so that's how I made that track. And yeah, that was a revolution. Like when it came out, finished. Finished. Yes. Merci, Antonio. Indeed, it is. <laughs> tu viens de l'espace. <laughs> so that track uh, called Black Sea is a um, is a track that I did. Um, it's a track that I did. Uh, And I got influenced and we, we had the authorization to use that sample from Carlinos Brown. It's a very famous Brazilian musician who founded, the, he's part of the foundation of the group called Olodum. And, uh... Hey. Wow, 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 wow. La domination del mundo. Hey. Check it 
Dark Dark Show. Show. Wanna be where, where else you shining? Look at the sea of black hands and bodies. Can't you see? We be sparkling, we be twinkling. Look overhead, dark scars we blazing. Any time of day you got booties that shaking. If it is a dream, we never wanna be awakened. Like an everyday anniversary, no CIA. No Sean Connery, no 007. No stop all black bakeries, rhythm slavery. The only one salary is to make you dance, baby. baby. But we in command, you still have your glance where we the caddy baby stand. Oh, we know we all musical, romance. And if we ever stop, we in an ambulance. Between the kids and life, no real balance. Beats galore. I feel the evidence. You may be thinking that all we do is cameos, videos, gangbangs, and good shows. You don't you know, baby? Planetary and people's that's good doctors and big entrepreneurs. Black time, I got what you want. Satisfaction guarantee. We dig it in the crate. And I got what you want. Satisfaction guarantee. We dig it in the crate. So this song is called Black Sea and what I'm explaining in the song is that the media, so 22 years ago, the media would only see African people poor with the fly and dying kids when we were also dentists, doctors, medalists, mathematicians, we invented a lot of things but they, they always portray us in a way that is giving to a lot of us and a lot of our kids, especially at that time, where we didn't have YouTube to say who we are. We didn't have Instagram to show how beautiful we are. It was only their channels, their TV. And at that time, we were portrayed the way they decided in their documentaries and the only people they would invite in, in a... In, in their television shows would be comics, stupids, or maybe sports when they win for us, for them. And uh, back in, young me back in 98 was like, no, there's going to be a black sea of us. And you're going to see that before you came, we were kings. And we were kings way before you. And we also are more than just what you are saying. It's completely different today. Today we have YouTube channels. We have Facebooks. We have Instagram. We follow each other. We have the black excellence. We own the culture. But back then, it was still the end of colonization. And uh, you could still feel it in the, the way all these people were, were acting. So... That's why I did that song. Uh, and I produced it, of course. I produced all the songs in this album. Uh, the next song is called uh, Mistakes. And it's a collaboration with uh, uh, one of my favorite Zouk artists of all time called Tanya Saint-Val. And it's a song about learning from your mistakes. I believe that uh, if you don't learn from your mistakes, then you will always do the same mistakes. <laughs> Sorry for the thing that I did to you Like me, you know 
know nobody's perfect So let me learn from my mistakes Just give me a break Rest in peace. Uh -huh. Salut Manu. Dédicace à maman, Stéphane. Yes, So this song is called Mistakes and I did it with um, Mike who was working with us and Jean-Michel Autain. He's part of a group called Organize in France and uh, Rokenza who's a, who's a rapper from, uh, from the West Indies and uh, yeah, you know uh bro i was completely in it i was like to me like the album of white clef was a revelation because it was the, the possibility uh to not only be um hip-hop and and fan of hip-hop of r&b but also be african and afro-caribbean and that's what i wanted to do in this album see what i mean no it's not wow Personne. I remember singing at this grand hotel in Congo back in the days because my dad was was working there. Wow, I remember that. I sang there a few times. You know that I remember growing up back when the name was not Grand Hotel but Intercontinental. I used to go there. I used to go there. Moi aussi je l'attends avec impatience. The next song is called I'm Ready, and uh, it talks about us, the musicians, us, the, the singers. We are ready. And when we are on that first album, when we are starting, when we are introducing ourselves to the world, to the world, we are ready for anything. And that's what I talk about in this album. We are ready to party. We're ready to, to sing. We're always ready to rap. Back then, like before I charged people to sing, You could give me a microphone anytime. I was like, bah, 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 bah. and so that's a that's a no to that. Alexandra Juniel in the chorus. Peeps waiting for the ding dong, yo. Punch like King Kong, yo. Felix Avant, technique, unique. Specificity of Cuba. Everybody know me from here to Costa Rica. What I'm representing is a bucket full of mom and soul. I shine all time. I'm a dollar, you a dime, that's fine. Smile, got stuff from behind you, swans. Mad cause I still get mine. I put my Nike on Sunday. Please cross like Wembley. I push MCs and I smile. My sunny days, I got honey, say, ooh yeah. We wanna party winter or summer days, yo. I got it anyway, yo. Wanna play, but who's gonna pay for the party? Uh uh, not me. Get in the swimming pool and get loose like fools. I'm a check to the honey boys. You make the BBQ. Not the criminal, I'm respectable, delicious, marvelous, sexable. My style be syllable. <laughs> those were my rap days. So, actually, all those songs I wrote them before doing those beats, and I wrote them to hip hop beats. 
and uh when i was doing this album i was just using all the lyrics i had you know i had a lot of lyrics written and and then i just transformed those rap songs into zook rap songs and uh that's how i did that 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 crazy album in 98 i recorded the whole album in uh in in cayenne in french guiana in in the north of south america uh, i lived there for one year and uh i recorded this whole album in a studio not far from the sea called the uh, studio trois s not far from uh the novotel uh the novotel uh cité novotel not far from the sea and and when you listen to the to the acapellas uh i don't have them anymore but in in the, in the track you can because the the studio the the, the wall were not so uh the wall were were thin you could you could hear the waves behind and uh actually i loved it so i i mean you don't hear it on with the beat but i loved the the fact that uh all my albums you see for example you can hear the cars that pass behind me or in the morning you can hear the birds and when i record albums I keep all these. I'm not trying to remove those things from my acapellas because I want things to be true like they were done. Je veux écouter Fiona. You're gonna have to come when I listen to the third album. This is the first album. Un petit gros vol. Il va falloir revenir quand je fais écouter le deuxième album. Ça, c'est le premier album. <laughs> um... Hey, what up, Gellis? How are you? It was the first time I saw you. I became your fan, big bro. Ah, bless up, bless up, bless up. Bonne soirée, you know, Congolais talentueux. Hi there, Julien. Yep, I was singing with my sister. Actually, our first show was in Kinshasa in 86. Damn. Ha ha. Ça va et toi Hmm. Toi tu connais Eduardo, tu connais les vraies choses. Euh, un an, ça m'a pris un an. The, ne the next song is called Don't Wake Me Up. It's a song uh, about the freedom that the sea gives you, the freedom of uh, what nature gives you. Um, and it's about uh, asking people to not wake you up from the bliss I produced what up le petit frère Cause now I'm into something else, my music 
music cow mystics Only thing my interest is melodies and rhythmics Till the day I wake up, my life I gotta set up Everything I got, that's the fuel will help me get up So this song is about, it's inspired by um, It Was A Good Day by Ice Cube It's me explaining a day in my life I wake up, I take a shower, I remove everything that is not glorious brown like my skin I I go walk around I go to the studio I make some beats and then I go walk in the street I meet a girl I talk you want to come to the studio and uh, it's a it's a it's a and then I say don't wake me up and you know a lot of us artists we have dreams and a lot of times the first people to dismiss and not believe in our dreams are our friends and our families and the people that are close to us. And they don't believe because it's not that they are hating. It's just that they don't think it's the right choice. They're scared. Whatever is the reason, they don't, they don't believe this is a real job to make music, etc., etc. And before we get famous before we we touch success we are confronted with that and those people they don't want us to dream sometimes because they hate sometimes because they're scared for us sometimes because they're our parents and they they didn't do all these sacrifice and pay to school for us to become musicians and but they have to let us dream they have to let us dream because it's from the dreams that you create the magic. It's from the dreams that you create the careers. Michael Jackson started from a dream. Uh, me, it started from a dream. And if my parents didn't let me do it, all this would not happen. So that's what I say in this song. Don't wake me up. Let me dream. Let me spend those days. Let me sacrifice all I have for music. Because I know that this is what I have to do. And uh, that's what the song is about. I produce the song. I produce all those songs uh, in front of the sea in Cayenne. Uh, I, I usually live in a, in a place called Monjoli. And um, that, that song is about that. And uh, the vocals are done by a, a very dear friend of mine called Lincha. She's an amazing singer. And... Uh, were you not afraid to become an artist? No, never. I always knew that that's what I wanted to be. Uh, this album, I was in Musulu and I heard telephone and bounce would be run to the DJ. <laughs> he was probably a Morim. <laughs> Went to Plaza España next day to buy. Wow. Wow. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Good night, Guy. Don't be scared. Lin Shay is a diva. Après cette musique, je suis curieux de connaître le nom de ces langues justement. The vibes, the vibes, the foundations. Quel était le facteur pour toi? Décisif pour que tu débutes ta carrière de chanteur. Quand j'avais 8 ans, ma mère m'a offert un synthé de cette taille. Un tout petit synthé comme ça, avec juste une octave. Et je m'amusais à refaire la musique de Supercopter. Et en fait, c'est là que j'ai voulu devenir beatmaker. J'ai jamais voulu être chanteur, je voulais être beatmaker. Et puis, euh, un jour, euh, j'ai gagné un concours de beauté et... Euh, on m'a mis le micro dans la main, j'ai commencé à rapper, toutes les filles ont crié, j'ai fait hmm. « C'est un bon business ça <rire> !» Oh, Jennifer du Bénin Wow, have a good night Wow, bless up Jennifer Bisous au Bénin Exactly, you have to do your own journey Exactly I completely agree. And people, sometimes people have to let you do your own journey. Even if you fail, it's better to fail and be like, okay, at least I tried. 
at least I tried 10 times and then you're not frustrated. It is way more frustrating to not try or to have people not let you try. So then even if you do something else, all your life you're going to live with regrets. I don't live with regrets. I, that's my enemy, regrets. Ah, merci beaucoup, Julien. There you go. There you go. The next song is called Love Someone. I, um, I replayed in the guitar a song like Jean-Michel Rotin by Jean-Michel Rotin called Leo Love and I asked him to sing with me on the, on the chorus. And it's a song about um, missing people. It's a song about loving people and uh, not having the time to say goodbye. Uh, and uh, it was a song for me, uh, even if I'm talking about uh, about somebody not being there anymore physically, I'm actually talking about um, sentimental, um, sentimental end of relationships. But at the same time, I'm talking about the fact that sometimes we don't have the time to say goodbye to people. And... Um, Stefano, I'm going to dedicate this one to your mom. So this song is, uh, I wrote it about uh, uh, the end of the relationship with my first girlfriend. So we've been together from 92 until 95, I think. And uh, so that was my first girlfriend. We did three years together. And um, the way it ended, like, um, I know that both of us never had, I mean, we had, a, we had long conversations since then. Now we are, I'm 46, she's 44. So time has has passed and, and, and now we are, we are, we are, we like friends. Uh, but at that time, I really had that feeling because we didn't have those conversations that we had maybe 10 years after we had the conversations in the beginning of the, of the 2000s. Uh, and we never had that, that closure. And I believe that in relationships, it is very, 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 very important to, to end relationships right to give all the answers to the other ones and even if it hurts so then after that you can go on with your life without regrets and without scars and no, no, scars you're gonna have bon night tatiana to the bank hey nula uh aujourd'hui tu passes assez souvent en soirée quand c'est un objectif pour toi ou tu as été propulsé dans ce monde comme ça Je veux dire par là que des artistes tels que t'es ici à la base ne faisaient pas de son qu'ils et pourtant ils sont régulièrement présents. Tu sais, nous on est des artistes. On est des artistes, on fait de la musique. Euh, le public décide ce qu'il fait avec ensuite en fait. Nous on n'est pas là pour, euh, pour décider qu'est-ce que les gens vont aimer. On fait juste ce qu'on ressent. 
Et après, pour certains comme moi, on a la chance de, 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 de lancer des modes, de, de devenir le, les, les, les piliers de, de, de genres musicaux et même de changer les genres musicaux. Mais à la base, nous les artistes, on veut juste faire du son en fait. On, notre but, ce n'est pas, pas de passer partout, etc. À la base, on fait du son. Puis après, quand ça fonctionne, tant mieux. Et voilà. Et ensuite, est-ce que je danse l'urban Non, je danse ni l'urban ni la keys. Moi, je danse le, le hip-hop. <rire> Ticho, good night. Je me souviens très bien de cette époque. Tu tenais un truc très avant-gardiste. Mmh, J'ai l'impression qu'à l'heure actuelle dans la musique, on a beaucoup moins de prise de risque. Je me trompe. Ça dépend. Ça dépend qui, en fait il y a des gens qui prennent des risques, mais ce ne sont pas forcément les, les, les mêmes qu'aujourd'hui, les mêmes qu'hier en fait. Certaines personnes ont trouvé un confort, certaines personnes ont trouvé des formules qui fonctionnent, et donc ils s'enferment dans les formules parce qu'ils euh, veulent aller faire des prestations, et c'est comme ça que euh, quand la mode change, bah, ils, ils, sont, ils sont lavés avec, euh, avec l'eau du bain. Euh, moi, j'aime justement faire des albums où j'amène toujours quelque chose de nouveau. C'est pour ça que j'aime travailler avec des nouveaux beatmakers. C'est pour ça que moi-même, en tant que beatmaker, quand les gens me disent « Ah, oh, mais fais des sons comme One Love, fais des sons comme Fiona, fais des sons comme Love de Toi », je leur dis « Non, va écouter One Love, Love de Toi », parce qu'à l'époque, c'était ça qui était avant-gardiste. Aujourd'hui, pour moi, ce n'est pas ce qui m'intéresse. Moi, j'aime toujours aller de l'avant et j'ai la chance que mes sons que j'ai faits il y a 15 ans, continuer à payer mon loyer, payer l'école de mes enfants, continuer à me nourrir parce que je suis propriétaire de mes masters. Donc je, la, je me donne la permission de justement aller à l'avant-garde toujours, de faire des nouvelles choses et de ne pas chercher à retrouver les hits d'antan parce qu'il y a des gens qui disent « oui, mais avant c'était mieux, etc. » Je n'ai pas ce problème justement grâce au fait que justement mes masters, mes masters anciens me permettent de, de vivre très bien. Donc je pourrais très bien ne, pas, ne plus faire de musique et gagner ma, ma vie tranquillement, mais justement... Je continue à chercher parce qu'à la base, je suis un scientifique. Et donc, il euh, y a beaucoup de gens qui ont peur de prendre des risques parce qu'ils ont peur de perdre le marché, parce que euh, leur manager leur dit « il faut, faut faire un tube », etc., etc. Et le public, parfois, n'est pas, ne suit pas, etc. C'est un trip down to memory name of you explaining what you were doing in your mind some 22 years back at the mind machine, priceless. Yes, brother, priceless, priceless. Dernière question, je file. Si Kesha demain en finira avec le monde de la musique, quel est le message le plus important que tu souhaites véhiculer euh, Je pense que si un jour j'arrête, euh, d'abord je ferai un documentaire pour que les gens comprennent ce que j'ai fait. Je pense qu'il euh, y a beaucoup de gens qui ne savent pas, mais euh, je suis à l'origine, euh, moi et, et, et certains, certains, certains de mes, de mes, de mes compères de l'époque, euh, nous sommes à l'origine de la transformation du Zouk. Nous sommes à l'origine, je suis à l'origine avec d'autres, mais je veux parler de moi. Je suis à l'origine, je suis une des personnes qui est à l'origine de la transformation du Zouk euh, en 1998 avec euh, l'album I'm Ready. Je suis aussi à l'origine de la transformation euh, de la Kizomba avec mon album, euh, mes albums de tout ça, 2003, 2004, 2006. I'm Ready, euh, non, It's All Love, African, Bohemian et Legendary. Ces, chants, ces sons, jusqu'à aujourd'hui, j'entends l'inspiration que ces chansons ont apportées. Euh, et, euh, et pareil pour le coupé décalé et les musiques, euh, les musiques afro. Aujourd'hui, tout le monde pense que les Nigérians ont inventé l'afrobeat. Mais Kesha en dit quoi C'était en 2003. Donc, si j'arrête la musique, il faudrait que les gens se rappellent de ça.
lifestyle. Me and my pal, we save six in our Don't you know? I got everything a girl needs. Sex indeed, we make some good seeds. I got cheese, we'll eat macaronis in fly restaurants. My tenderoni. Where you wanna go? I'll take you there. Share passionate moments, none can compare. Tie tie with my name on it. Hey. Rafael, don't fear for it. That's Infinity right. I'm here to give you, not play you like that Nintendo. Let's stay together to get over the shendo. So this song is called Every Day and it's yeah, it's a love song. It's a, me talking to a girl and saying all the things I'm going to do to her. And uh, in the chorus, we have um, Lincha, Ali Angel, and Nichols. And uh, that, that was my crew back in the days. We, we had dreams for uh, our branch of Zuki. We had dreams about how we would... We were ambitious and we had no clue that everything now, Kizomba, Urban Keys, and like we really had no clue that we would influence so much people. But yeah, so the beat has a very, uh, in the rhythm, it has a very uh, Jean Michel Rotin feel. Like, uh, so we were, we were, I was, I, I used to be his, his backup dancer and, and I used to rap on, 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 on his concerts. So, of course, I, I was, um, when I went from hip hop to rap, I, got, I really got inspired by his type of music because he he, he was on the forefront uh, musically uh, compared to a lot of the people. Uh, to me, Zook was super boring. When I was hearing, I was like, Meh. I was more into R&B and hip hop. But when I heard his, his music, I was like, hey, okay. And uh, there was a lot of people at that time that, that, that revolutionized the, 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 the Zook sound, like a real C of the Yardies, uh, Ali Angel, Nichols, like, Jean-Michel Autain, of course, at that time, we really, in my opinion, we really created a revolution for, for that music. And we, we permitted that this genre that was more genre that was in the islands to export in other places because this album was one of the first albums with Zooks sung in English and etc. etc. So, yeah. Eduardo, tu te rappelles? <laughs> Merci pour tes réponses précieuses en passant. Je sens, trouve que ton son Malembe Malembe est frais et nouveau. Merci beaucoup. This is what I do. This is what we do. The next song is called Dancing Dancing. Eduardo, mets dans les commentaires ce que tu as pensé de mon premier album quand il est sorti. Another track with uh, Jean-Michel Rotin in the chorus. Uh, so in this album, as you can see, like Jean-Michel was all over. He came one day, he came to Cayenne, and uh, I was like, okay, I have him. I made him record everywhere. So most of the, the choruses, I wrote them, and I asked him, like, yeah, he sang, he sang on, like, telephone, on uh, don't, on Love Someone, uh, Dancing, Dancing, and Around the Global. So, yeah, 
he's um yeah he's, he's part of he's part of of my history he's uh he's somebody that uh if i didn't meet him i wouldn't be here in 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 in, in this place and, and music so you know i have to I have to give it to him he's a he's a legend <laughs> thanks a lot those were were the, co the covers back then so back then i only had that tattoo wait it's here now this arm is full of tattoos <laughs> Back then, that was my only tattoo. <laughs> Funny. Thank you. I love it too. <laughs> Merci, Vanini. At what time you made a song with George? JJ? Are you talking about JJ or George? So that song, Dancing, Dancing, I talk about the power of dancing, you know? When you... When you are here and you are listening to music, even if you don't know how to dance, your body will react to music. And uh, I talk about this relationship between the beats, the singing, and the dance. And it's very important to never forget that they, they all go together. And uh, in the chorus, uh, uh, what I wrote is, I don't know why I'm dancing, but it must be the music. And... That's what I was saying back then. I just want to make you dance. I make that music because I just want people to feel happy and dance and travel somewhere and forget. Like I was saying in the intro, it's another galaxy. The last song on the album is called uh, Around the Global. And it's about me saying that one day, my music be all around the world and my music will be heard in China, heard in Bangkok. And I was, I was dreaming alive of, of, of the things that maybe would happen one day. Merci beaucoup, Edouard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Take my breath in the West Indies. I'm already forget my vest. Live the winter for you, fool. And yes, yes, you know. This is how we do. Peace out to all my peeps in Guyana. Best kisses go to all the girls coming from China. Sunrises. Pour water on my body. I get the knapsack. Put on the back. And I'm ready. Rap City. I leave my footprints in Times Square. I'm melty like media. And I feel the atmosphere. Is that cool? She called that walk around the global girlfriends. Even the Popo no that bad Lorenzo. Style, walking that design. 
Jeanette Palais Démarré, Jeanne l'a laissé bœuf la aller Prévu sans bail, y'a qu'à tracer avec Shogun Sans flan, sans dos cool, cachaillé tout le monde Caribbean style, we got the profile Elle en musique qui sorti mon canal C'est bol de liberté, caminer, voyager Elle veut les oiseaux voler, elle veut les poissons nager And the outro of this album is just two minutes of waves. So that song I'm talk about I'm talking about China, Japan, France, Congo, the West Indies, Africa. I'm talking about us being one and always one. And I've never been a guy of, of divisions. A lot of people love to get divided because everybody's shooting to be number one. I really believe that when we are together, we are stronger than when we are enemies. That's, that's, that's always been my belief. And uh, every time somebody tried to beef with me, uh, every, every, I, I did everything that I could to turn the beef into something positive every time that I could uh, I try to show the people that I'm not their enemy and if they want to be number one they can have it I don't care actually uh, and um, I don't choose myself like you do the public it's the public who decide who's gonna be number one who's gonna be number two and as an artist this should never be being number one should never be your objective as an artist. As an artist, your artist should be, your, your, your objective should be doing art. And every artist should be a businessman too. And as a businessman, your objective should not be to be the number one and fuck everybody on your way to become number one. Your objective should make sure your business is made right so that your art can feed you and feed your family. And if you, your art can buy you a house or two houses or 10 houses, amazing. But never at the expense of being a good human being. And when we come together, we are stronger. 